cut, I cut it making lunch today. I was picking the chicken up on top of my bowl, cutting the chicken. I just, it's still leaking. The man builds homes. <laughs> and it's the chicken lunch that gets them. Repair is done. Let's, uh, let's go shoot some net zero here. Over here, we got uh, 3706 and 3708. And these are two single family net zero homes. Uh, we're just finishing up the garage portion of the ICF uh, scope on this project. And then over there, we got 3712 and 3710, 8th Avenue. Again, two more net zero homes happening over here. Uh, our far one, by the way, 3712 is up for sale, so check that out. And uh, coming soon, we have 3708, 8th Avenue. Uh, that'll be up for sale here. So all these homes, they have our standard high performance net zero wall systems throughout. Comes with a full solar package. Uh, we're very excited about having four of these all in a row here. Okay, come on in guys. Here's our garage here. So you got your front attached garage. We walk into our basement here and uh, you're straight into your mudroom here. And uh, so what we got here, we got our standard Homes by Sorensen net zero assembly. Uh, for our basement slab here, we got the four inches of EPS uh, under slab foam with that 10 mil perfectly sealed with our high performance tapes. Um, this gives us uh, a, an amazing thermal break for our entire basement floor. This floor here is going to feel like it almost has radiant in slab heating. Not really, but it's going to be very comfortable. And then next, we got our uh, ICF uh, foundation wall here. So this gives you five inches of EPS foam, two and a half inches on either side of our six inch concrete detail or our six inch concrete core here. Uh, next, let's go head upstairs and check out the upstairs. Okay, and we're upstairs here. So uh, that's where we enter in from the basement here. So what we got above here is we got our above grade uh, net zero standard, uh, Homes by Sorensen standard wall assembly here. So right here we got our double studded wall. Uh, we love this wall assembly, very cost effective, very uh, effective with uh, keeping your house extremely warm. Um, what we've got here is two two by four walls with that three inch gap in between. So nothing that touches the outside touches the inside here. Gives us that complete thermal break within the wall system. Um, and then we put three layers of R12 bat in this wall for an R36 uh, versus your code built uh, R20. Uh, so right here we've got at least 50% more insulation than your code built version with that complete thermal break. And then over here, this is just our standard uh, party wall detail here. Uh, this one has a one inch air gap, but that air gap there is meant for sound resistance. Uh, it gives it that complete break so that sound doesn't jump over to the next unit. Very quiet. So right here, we've got our second floor system sitting on top of our inner two by four wall. Uh, and so that system isn't touching the outside. So we get that complete thermal break. If you get right in there and see it, you can go straight up and see that this is, uh, uh, we get complete insulation underneath our, behind our second floor system. We love this detail. It eliminates the spray foam within the, the system, which also helps us reduce our costs. Uh, and we also get the performance of having insulation behind our second floor system as well. Okay, yeah, so we were on the second floor here. We got the second floor subfloor already sheeted and the guys are now working on our second floor walls. So what we got up here is we got our first uh, exterior wall. They've already built the second wall. It's down there on the floor here. That's ready to be stood up. And then once they stand that up, they'll uh, have that three inch gap there for our double sided wall. So uh, really you can see how easy this is. You, you frame a two by four exterior wall, which is simple. And then you basically just have uh, inner frost wall like you would in a basement standing up. So the labor of this thing is extremely easy. The high, very high constructability and very cost effective. Love it. So we were just downstairs talking about how our second floor system sits on top of our inner wall. But the part that I, I really want to show people here is that not only does the second floor, the, the, the joists sit here uh, above our inner wall on the main floor, our second floor subfloor extends all the way out uh, to go underneath that main floor exterior wall that comes all the way up underneath that subfloor sheathing. So this subfloor sheathing connects the two double-sided walls on the main floor 
uh, and it gives us that stop in between our wall system as well uh, for you know fire to quickly spread up through the two double studded wall systems on top of each other. Just a nice little point there to make to everybody. Okay, that's all from us here for our Net Zero projects here uh, on 8th Ave here. Very excited about these projects to continue underway here. Uh, check back in with us here, see where we're at. If anyone's interested in these two up for sale projects here, we'd be happy to talk with you and uh, stay tuned for the next one.